Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020forum.com. So, about four months ago, there was a piece of research that was published in one of the journals. And uh, I was going to share it with you folks, but somewhere along the line, I forgot about it. And I remember this weekend and I felt I have to really share it with you folks because it is that important. Now, this uh, research demonstrates a particular technique of lowering our blood sugar levels and uh, it's just lovely uh, it's a technique that I would describe as the laziest way of lowering our blood sugar levels honestly uh, you're gonna see what I mean by that in a minute but here is the bonus it not only lowers your blood sugar levels it also lowers your blood lipids as well I mean how cool is that so uh, you know I felt I really needed to share it with you guys and the idea behind it is that you recruit a particular group of muscle uh, in the body and uh, this muscle, you work it gently. Uh, you're gonna see what I mean by that shortly. You work this muscle and this muscle then soaks up sugar from the blood circulation and then also soaks up lipids from the blood circulation and uses the sugar and the lipids for its energy needs. Just fantastic, I love it. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to share with you the anatomy of this muscle so you know uh, the muscle we're talking about and how to recruit it. And then I'm going to do a practical demonstration of this very intervention. And guess what? I have modified this intervention such that you get even better results from uh, employing this very intervention. So uh, you really need to stay put and watch uh, this uh, very intervention. My demonstration, that is. Uh, you have to watch it. And after that, I'm going to share with you the typical results that you can expect when you implement this uh, very intervention. So, all of that is coming up. But before that, uh, a quick plug. My book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. Links to get the book right below this very video. So, uh, this uh, very intervention is called the soleus push-up. What is the soleus muscle? Let's start off with the anatomy of... Uh, the uh, this uh, very muscle and then uh, after that I'll give you my practical demonstration. So let's uh, kick off. With it. So let's look at the soleus muscle beautiful experiment. I call it the beautiful experiment because that's exactly what it is in my opinion. So let's have a look at the anatomy of the leg. Now in your leg, uh, in the calf, there are three muscles. Uh, there are actually two but this gastrocnemius is split in two so it's got two heads. There's the inner head and then there's the outer head. Now, underneath the gastrocnemius, there is what's called the soleus muscle. And this soleus muscle is the one we're interested in. This is the muscle that is going to help us lower our blood sugar levels. But the gastrocnemius lies on top of the soleus. So let me show it to you in another view so you can appreciate it a lot more. So this is the gastrocnemius. Like I said, it's on the outer aspect uh, of the calf. So you've got the inner head and then you've got the outer head. And then underneath, you've got the soleus. Now, all three muscles, they are attached to the heel of your foot. And uh, what they do, they help to move this ankle joint. When you move your ankle joint, whether you're flexing it or extending it, you are using uh, these muscles. Uh, the soleus in particular is involved in helping you to plant or flex your an ankle joint. So... Uh, the soleus is the one we're interested in because this is the one that is going to help us lower our blood sugar levels. Now, there's a specific exercise that you do to utilize uh, the potential of this soleus muscle. So let me demonstrate for you what the exercise is all about. It's very simple. So here is the soleus push-up. Uh, it's probably the simplest exercise you will ever do in your life. It's very, very very easy so all you need to do is sit down and uh, you plant a flex your feet like that okay how easy is that this is something you can do uh, in the office underneath your desk after lunch uh, it's something you can do on a flight uh, when you are on a long distance flight you can do that uh, not only will it stop you from uh, developing clots in the deep veins on the leg, it will also help you to lower your blood sugar levels. So, uh, nice workout on a flight. 
Uh, of course, you can do it at home uh, after dinner or after lunch and uh, you're watching television, you do it as well. Um, anywhere, it's an exercise that is applicable practically everywhere, uh, in my opinion. So, you just plant flex. Okay, look at that. Easy pizza. And you're doing this, you are helping the muscle to soak up uh, sugar from the blood circulation as well as lipids as well, okay? So, easy, easy pizza exercise. I love it. Something you can do. Anyway, now, as you know, I like to uh, modify things and see if I can get more from whatever I'm doing. So I've come up with a modification and what it means is you just get a platform. Uh, it could be a textbook like I have here and you place it in front of you and uh, place your toes, just place your toes on the edge of the book and uh, you slowly just push up away. How cool is that? See? Itsy. Itsy pitsy. The reason for this modification is that your ankle has a longer distance to travel when you do it. All right, look at that. So that's a textbook. Another thing you can use as just a textbook, you can also use a higher platform if you go one. So I've got this polystyrene here. Uh, and uh, same thing, place your toes on the edge of the polystyrene platform. And uh, look at that. See, this is what I mean by the fact that your heel now has a longer distance to travel. Got to lift a lot more with this modification. Okay? I love that. Okay? Textbook is one option uh, because books are everywhere. Uh, but if you want to take it to the next level again, get something like this polystyrene or a bigger test book, you know? That way you can elevate some more. Look at that. Is it pizza? So you can do that. That's just my modification. Or you can stick to just the regular form of the exercise and you are good to go. And what kind of results can we expect from this lazy soleus push-up exercise? And now let's have a look at the blood sugar results. Now, in this column, this is the control. This is when the study participants were sitting down, they were doing nothing. This is the sedentary column. And then when they did the soleus exercise, this is the blood sugar results they got. So at 60 minutes, as you can see here, uh, when they were sedentary, it was 206. And when they did the exercise, it was down to 163. A difference of 43 milligram per deciliter. Fantastic. At one hour, 15 minutes, uh, when they were sedentary, it was 207. Blood sugar results was 207. When they did the soleus push-up, uh, the blood sugar results was 159. A difference of 47. At one hour, uh, 30 minutes, uh, when they were sedentary, sitting down, doing nothing, uh, the blood sugar results were 198. When they did the soleus push-up exercise, they got 151. A difference of 48. Not bad at all. Fantastic. At uh, 1 hour 5 minutes, which is 1 hour 45 minutes, uh, blood sugar, when they were sitting down doing nothing, 191. When they did the soleus push-up, it was 142. A difference of 49. So, fantastic uh, blood sugar results when they did the soleus push-up exercise. Uh, not bad for what, what I would describe as the laziest exercise on the planet. And uh, so, this so is the study uh, published in iScience Journal uh, titled A Potent Physiological Method to Magnify and Sustain Soleus Oxidative Metabolism Improves Glucose and Lipid Regulation. Now, I should point out that uh, uh, in this experiment, they used 75 grams 
glucose drink. And that is the standard uh, drink that we use for glucose tolerance test. So everything yeah, is well in order. And, uh, you know, this is a very nice study that uh, has a lot of legs in it. So the soleus push-up actually represents a distinct way of gaining the health benefits of elevated muscle metabolism with as little effort as possible. And now you must be wondering, what is so special about the soleus muscle? Why does it do what it does? Well, two main reasons. The first one is that the soleus muscle is a slow twitch muscle as opposed to being a fast twitch muscle. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that the soleus muscle doesn't tire out easily, which means you can engage this muscle in an exercise activity for a prolonged period of time without the muscle becoming fatigued. So uh, two main reasons. And as an offshoot of those two reasons is the fact that the soleus muscle prefers to use glucose from the blood circulation as well as lipids from the blood circulation for its energy needs as opposed to using the glycogen that is stored within the muscle fiber itself. So, uh, and you, you are the one who stands to benefit uh, from all of this if you engage the soleus muscle. And that's the reason I will encourage you guys to engage in this uh, very exercise uh, as it will help you to uh, improve your metabolic health. Uh, the fact that this muscle will help you to mop up glucose and lipids from the blood circulation, uh, that can only be a good thing for your metabolic health. Start doing the exercise today. Uh, there is no hesitation about it. It's not something that you should be saying, well, I'm gonna start next week. No, it's something that you can start doing today, uh, this very minute after you've had your next meal. So, uh, hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also, uh, please uh, share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you've got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments or questions down below. I think that's about it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.